guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I came up with this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And I know the look is a little bit weird because come on, I'm not actually a professional, but I did try to help you out with an idea. Um, and I didn't want to do the same old pink uh, eyeshadow look because I feel like everyone's going to do that. And I already have a pink eyeshadow look on my channel and I also have a pink cut crease. I just, I don't know, I feel like everyone's going to do pink eyeshadow for that day. So I want to do something different and I did try to wing out my liner and I also tried to smoke it out. Um, as you can see, it didn't turn out as perfect, but I still tried my best. Sorry guys, I'm just looking in the camera down below just to kind of see how it all turned out. So, um, I do definitely think that it's very glam, but still very soft and still very subtle, you know? It's not too much. So obviously instead of pink eyeshadow, I try to focus more on the lips and I do kind of reverse. Uh, I, instead of doing like neutral eyes or anything like that, I try to do more of a very smoked out look but also that your eye color would pop but I also focus on the lips make them pink and still have that whole Valentine's vibe and yeah <laughs> and yeah guys I'm just really excited for you to see how I got this look and if you want to know how I got this then just keep on watching so I'm taking this shade right here So I'm going to take this shade called by, called by Colourpop Cosmetics and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Once you have that shade blended out, I'm going to take this shade right here. What? And once you have that and once you have that shade blended out, I'm going to take this shade right here. And this one is called Freckles and Colourpop Cosmetics once again. And make sure that you smoke it out into the V shape. Because we are going to apply some eyeliner. And then I'm just going to apply some liquid eyeliner and this one is by Bourjois and this is the 16 hour one. I really do like it because it can really make that precise uh, winged liner which I really really like. So the hardest part is going to make them even because as you can see my, my winged liner on this side is a lot longer than I'd usually make it. So... So because I messed up on my winged liner, I'm just going to clean it up with some concealer. So because I messed up on my winged liner, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, but you can take any, any angled brush and just take some concealer. And you can make it as precise as you want to. But the good thing about today's look is that you don't need your eyeliner to be pre completely precise and identical to the other one because we are going to smudge it out and this is the next step that I'm doing which is I'm going to take an eye curl, so this one is by Catrice, and I'm just going to apply it onto my winged liner. And the reason why I'm doing this after my liquid eyeliner is because that um, it's kind of like a base for my eye curl, if that makes sense. So, even if the eye curl disappears throughout the day, that's a little bit too much, um, you still will have that liquid liner underneath it, so it will make it last a little bit longer on your eyes. So first what you can do is apply this as close to the liquid liner as you want and then I'm just going to take the same shadow palette and I'm just going to pick up this shade right here which I believe is called Cloud9 and all that I'm 
going to do is smudge the eye curl that I just applied and if you think that you want to apply some more eye curl you can to just smoke it out even more And this is what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to apply some more eye curl, especially to the wing, to the winged part of the eye, because I feel like it's not smoked out enough. And then I'm just going to apply the same eye curl to the waterline. Also make sure that your lower lash line connects to your upper lash line so that it all ties in with the whole look. So I know it's a little, a little not completely blended, but it that's the whole thing with it because you can actually experiment it and this is actually my first time trying something like this out and just completely out, out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. I have my lashes on and these are Wispies by Ardell Lashes and I'm also just going to finish off the eye look. So I'm just going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to put this into my lower lash line to just darken up the black. This is a dark brown color so it's just going to soften out the whole look. If I was to go in with a black it would look really really harsh. I'm also trying to put this actually on my line instead of just blending it out and this is going to prolong the eye curl and make it stay there a little that bit longer. So something along the lines like so. I also want to finish the whole eye look also by just putting on some highlighter and this is also my luminizer by the Balm Cosmetics and I'm just going to focus this onto the brow bone like so to just kind of open up the eyes a little bit more because the black in the waterline and black also as an eyeshadow really does close up your eyes Okay, so the eyes are done. Okay, so you know the drill. I usually apply my my radiator just so please stay. Whatever. So you guys, you know the drill that I usually apply my cream contours and cream anything before my foundation because I feel like it really does look so much nicer and blends out so much better as well without actually destroying your foundation or moving it around so that's what I'm going to do today that's pretty much everywhere that I'm going to apply this and this is going to be more like a cream bronzer it honestly looks so nice on the skin And then for foundation, I'm just going to take L'Oreal Lumi Magique and L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt and this one is in the shade Rose Pearl and this one is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to mix both of these foundations on my skin. Oh, my hair is getting in the way. And then these match me perfectly when they're mixed together because honestly the impalpable acid it just so many times has oxidized, oxidizes on me and the Lumi Magic is actually in the wrong shade it's more pinkier on my skin 
And for some time I used to think that my skin was actually had a pink undertone, but it doesn't. It's more like neutral, I think. Matching yourself is actually the hardest, especially when they don't have testers in the drugstore. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, how am I supposed to find out my shade? Which was completely ridiculous. And then down your neck. So I kind of wanted to try out a new brush that I got. Which is the Sigma F40. And it's meant to be like a contouring. Yeah, angled contour brush. But honestly, it's I feel like it's going to be too, too loose. I don't know. It's really hard for me to find a nice contour brush. Which is why I always used to use my blush brush by Real Techniques. And I used to kind of like... But yeah, I just, I really like the way that it applies my, my bronzer. Well, I'm going to use this as contour actually. And it can definitely apply your contour slash bronzer very, very naturally. Can you see that? So natural and so nice. I just, I really like this brush. This is definitely becoming my favorite contour slash bronzer brush. And I was worried it's gonna apply it very patchily or just everywhere because it's just so big and just so floppy, if you know what I mean. And I don't really do anything too much to my nose. Or any other areas I just leave it as it is I'm just kind of trying to enhance what I already got and then uh, for concealer I'm trying to apply this in a upside down triangle and just a little bit over my chin got hair because I really do like to, like to use this as a highlight to add some more light to my face and some more dimension. Between my brows, I really like to do that as well. Yeah. You know, the amount of times I've play, applied products into my hair that is ridiculous. So one thing that you guys may not know is that I like to leave uh, my concealer a little bit longer so I, what I do is I go ahead and blend out all the other areas that I have applied concealer, like my chin, my um, forehead type of thing, because it kind of acts as, as a baking, so it will definitely brighten up your eyes a little bit more than if you were to just blend that straight away. And I really like that hack. So for my lips, I'm going to apply the Royal Lip Liner in Berry Blush and it's more of a pink lip liner and I'm not sure how it's going to go with my lipstick so fingers crossed it actually blends in really nice. And the lipstick that I'm using is by MAC and this is Pink Flat and it's also matte, which is perfect.
You guys, I nearly forgot to add my highlighter. What the hell? Like seriously, what the hell? You know the drill. It's Marilyn Mice by the Bomb, and it's Bomb.com. I love it. A little bit on the nose. That's it for today's look guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I could help you out with um, any ideas or tips whatsoever because I mean, who doesn't like Valentine's Day, right? I mean, come on, chocolate is like for sale, my favorite day, come on. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just see you in my next one, bye!